Hey fans, Fly here. Wanted to go ahead and uh, reach out to y'all real quick. There's something uh, pretty, pretty important to us gamers uh, that like the dinosaur genre, and that specifically, Ark Survival Ascended. So, I put a lot, a lot of hours into this. Uh, Last night, special thanks to Hod. He don't know me, I don't know him, but watched this stream. He actually um, got a copy of the game. It was gifted to him or given to him, or I don't know how, how that all went down, but he didn't pay for it, uh, obviously enough. And um, he was able to sh get it downloaded and try to get in and start doing some playthrough. And uh, as you see in my my title screen there, my little thumbnail, don't, don't, don't. And that's your president talking. You're President Biden. And uh, I have to reflect exactly what he's saying. Don't, don't, don't. And my don't, don't, don't is don't do it. Uh, now, listen, I love the dinosaur genre. I love the game. I had real issues with it. And uh, my caveat to that don't, don't, don't is if you've never played Ark and you want to play a dinosaur game, then unfortunately, and I say that because I don't believe the devs should reap another penny off of this, not the devs necessarily, Wildcard and, and the companies that are backing it, but uh, if you've never played it, I guess it's worth it. But for those of us who have already purchased this game, you're not getting anything. You're not getting anything but another bill to play the same game again. Yeah, there's a few more rocks on the beach. Yes, the caves look a little bit different as we've seen as he did this walkthrough. Um, yeah, the, the, the grass moves a little different. Um, you know, there, there's visually there's changes but people will tell you all the time even in the stream if you're a pvp -er, you're cutting all that stuff down you're turning it all down so what's the reason well the reason is so people can see you and find you in the tall grass they get rid of all that stuff we did that in conan so you can see the grubs so you can uh, get rid of a lot of that distraction. You get rid of everybody's hiding places. I mean, so what's the point to all you PVPers that are just going so crazy? Oh, the graphics are so great. The graphics are great. When you're not going to play that way. I mean, that's uh, really the bottom line, isn't it? You're looking for game performance. You're looking for a way to get an edge. It's not with these super graphics. So, you know, what's the graphics doing? Brings me to another one of my points, right? Well, guess what? You got to go ahead and have a much better computer. And that's pretty sad. Why do you have to have a better computer? Well... I'm going to tell you, you probably, they're saying for your RAM, they're looking at 16 gig to 32 gig. And you better have every bit of, of the 16. Um, I should try and pull up the specs real quick. Let me see here. Let me see if I can find it. Um, okay, you know, here's your system requirements. Um, obviously, Windows 10, 11 is an easy one. The processor, a lot of times, I mean, I've got an older processor. Reminds an i7... Uh, 70 
whatever, I don't even know, I gotta look, 75,000, whatever, let's just say 75,000, K. So, I mean, that's, that's not the issue. 16 RAM versus 32 RAM. I'm telling you, man, you go 16, you're not going to be happy. The, these, the, the game has always been so unoptimized, so low on performance, that if you think for one minute that you're going to be able to get away with the minimum specs and have a great gaming experience, you're a sucker. You're an absolute sucker. So you're going to end up having to get close to max, if not just get to max, on your graphics card. Well, they're just talking about these model graphics cards, GeForce 1080. I'm ready on the that. I still have an old 1070. So it's not going to work. And those only have uh, 8 gig on VRAM. Video RAM. 8 ain't going to be enough. I'm going to tell you that again. You're going to want a minimum of a card that has 12 to 16. 12 for sure. I mean, you're going to end up having to get the 12 with any games really soon. But 12 to 16. Listen, I'm no computer genius, man. I'm a computer dummy. But I'm telling you right now, if you don't have a card that's going to have at least 12 gig VRAM, you're going to be in trouble. Just to play the same game you used to play, okay? Just to play the same game you used to play. And this is for you PVPers that aren't going to utilize the settings the way they're intended to be used because you're looking for that advantage. DirectX, same thing, available uh, uh, space on your drive, not a big deal. And SSD card required. These days, not so much of a big deal. Most people are using SSD drives, but you'll want that little advantage on there. That SSD uh, drive is going to help you some. So there's your system requirements. So now, those of us that don't have any one of these components, you might be able to upgrade your computer for whatever i mean if it's a processor you're looking at several hundred dollars if you're looking at a video card i mean you know they go for crazy i mean i think though something that's a 16 gig card right now is probably going to be uh, in the realm of like 400 bucks 500 bucks uh that's that's you know a substantial amount of money to play a game that you've already bought that you can't play now you have to buy a computer as well as pay for the game so that's pretty crazy guys I mean that in itself is really a uh, it's a it's a no-go for me it's a no-go for me I, I love this game I hate the way they have not managed it, it they've done a terrible job of it terrible 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 so let's jump back here. So getting the specs out of the way, we obviously watched some server crashing, which it's not a new game. It's a, it's a new launch. And yeah, they're going to have problems since they did make some changing. So, uh, you know, that's something that anybody that is playing Steam games, indie games, you're going to have to expect. I mean, that's just the way it is. And he had a tremendous difficult time to get on and join a server. Um, and he ended up getting into Oceanic server, was able to get on there. They are saying they're opening more servers, which they'll definitely be doing. Um, and you should be able to get on to servers with less issues. Um, as the uh, future progresses so those are that that guys is expected this is fine I hate to say it uh, but there shouldn't be any real complaints on that especially in the first hours 
of the game coming out. Of course, they knew they were going to need a bunch more servers. There's going to be a bunch of people trying to play, but, you know, that is that is what it is. It's not a big deal, you know, but um, that you got to kind of let go. Definitely, uh, you need to let that go. So, we talked about the graphics, and, and another point I want to make out, I mean... Um, Look at any of the cinematics that you get in the, some of these games. They're at the beginning of the games. As early as I'm going to say the taboo World of Warcraft. You look at the cinematic and it's out of this damn world. It's fantastic, right? And then you play the game and it's different, right? You're really not looking to play in that cinematic because it, it uh, it's full circle and I'm kind of wasting and being redundant. As a PvPer, you're not interested in that level of graphics versus the level of performance you can have to give you the edge. And don't try and tell me that's not true. Besides simple adjustments that people do, they unfortunately resort to hacks and cheats, which pisses me off. And that brings me into the next topic. The hacks, the cheats, the undermeshing, the issues that ARCs had forever are not fixed in this release. Let me make that very clear. And I had an exchange with another viewer that was watching that feed. And he was saying, initially, I, I guess I just misinterpret what he was saying. And he's like, well, some of this stuff you got to expect. And I called him out. And I told him, I says, man, I said, you mean to tell me you think that the old arc was optimized? And he, he made an honest statement. He said, no, after 10 years, they still ain't fixed shit, you know, in, in a nutshell. And that's true. That's 100% true. So if they haven't fixed, and this has always been my bitch, and I even have a post on this years ago. If you're not going to fix the core principles, the core dynamics of the game, and you're going to keep releasing more graphics, more dinosaurs, more armor, more this, that, and the other, no matter what game you're playing. How is the game going to be so much better when you got to continue to deal with the bullshit? And I got to say, the one thing I'll say about this generation of players is that you definitely work the workarounds. There's no question about that. But you shouldn't have to. By these kind of things happening, the glitching, the duping that's happening in other games, the undermashing, all these kind of crazy things, it just encourages people to find ways to break the system or cheat. Where if the game was playing and played flawlessly and done properly, you wouldn't really have too much of a need to do that. But unfortunately, these days, people, everybody has to be the guy on top. And uh, you'll find any way to do it. A lot of people's personalities are like that. So the bugs are still going to be there, the glitches. There's still going to be performance issues that they haven't addressed in 10-ish years. Optimization, now it's a new engine and everything. It, it's not going to be optimized your old rigs, my old rig is not going to work for this game. So you're not investing any more 40 bucks for something you already paid for. You're invested several hundred dollars just to play one game right now that you've already been playing. Just because you want it to cinematically look good for a minute while you're walking around and looking. But as soon as you go to PvP, you're turning all that shit off. Tell me I'm wrong. Put the comments down. I challenge every one of you to deny that fact. 
that you will be turning that shit down or you won't be turning it down. You're going to want the greatest cinematic experience with all the grass moving and everything else so the guy can sneak up right behind you and stick his finger right up your fucking asshole. Whoops, I didn't want to say that. Just trying to keep this clean. But, you know, that that's really the way it is, you know. So, some final thoughts on arc again i got i've have to reiterate to everybody for me it's a it's definitely a, a non buy i mean i was close man i i i the reason i'm close and the reason y'all should be close and consider buying new games when they're new in my opinion is that you can start playing and enjoying the experience before people figure out how to cheat and hack. And you get a more pure, enjoyable experience of the game. So early game plays really good. Now, I'm dabbling in content creation. And that was one reason I was kind of considering going ahead and giving Wildcard more of my money. To try and entertain a few people. I'm new to this. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I don't have a lot of. You know. Tremendous amount of views. Like some of these guys. And I'd like to bring you content. But. I just can't. See the value of spending that money on there. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I can make money at doing this. But. At this point. I haven't even looked into it. It's just the joy of doing this. And the style of videos that I. Try to do. Uh, is uh, tutorial type stuff but I like my my deal my my idea my tag is to basically play the game the way it's intended to be played the way the game was made and not utilize the hacks and cheats and things like that and I, I could be pretty naive I mean I was pretty naive uh, in another game Conan which is by Funcom and they they have the same issues as Ark same bullshit they all seem to be um, spun from the same web. Uh, but I didn't realize how badly people cheat and dupe and hack and everything. And, and it's rampant. And everybody knows it. I was one of the few that didn't. And uh, I learned pretty quick about that when I went to doing some PvP. So PvE content, a lot of the games are, are going to be worth buying if you haven't played this. Definitely, if you love dinosaurs, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and <laughs> take the plunge if your computer is able to do it. If the old arc will continue to be played solo and you can go ahead and purchase it still, man, I'd go that way, play solo, and uh, don't worry about upgrading the computer and everything else. Um, and uh, it's something that I may consider to do some videos, but even while I was trying to do some videos on that, I kept experiencing game crashes and things like that, which was pissing me off, and some glitches and, and things like that. And Primitive Plus is a whole other deal where you can never log into it. Uh, <clears throat> took like 30 minutes just to log into the damn Primitive Plus servers, which was a great mod. Um, but it's just, uh, it, it's something to consider doing. Um, now, again, if you're going to think about getting this one, Ark Survival Ascended, please, guys, don't buy the game and don't have the specs. I promise you, you're going to be very upset and, uh, and you're not going to be able to do shit until you spend a bunch of money on it. And it's just not worth it. It is just not worth it. it, it in the condition the game is, I know people spend money on a lot of different things for a lot of different reasons. But if you're going to spend a ton of money because you think Ark Survival Ascended is going to be this greatest thing since sliced white bread, you're making a mistake. It is no better than the old one, which you have been possibly currently playing right now so definitely consider that if you're going to purchase this game um, and definitely consider 
if you want to spend that kind of money. I mean, if you're at the end of the life on your computer and you're going to buy one anyway and you're going to do the upgrades, then it doesn't matter. Um, but don't make the mistake of not getting a 16 gig v VRAM. I'm telling you right now, you want to have that, that card for several years. You definitely want to get 16 at least on that. That's so important. Um, so damn important. So definitely do that. Um, so I don't really know what more to say. I mean, you can dig up my post on ARC back years ago. And uh, man, I, I don't know how to counter the fact that, yeah, I mean, they do bring out new dinos they've brought out new content they've added things to the game but it's still not any more playable than it has been for years years and years and years and if you're comfortable with supporting that substandard you know uh, that level the, the level on the video game developers is so damn low man you guys you keep giving them money to make this garbage and then they walk away from it. I, I just don't know what to say. You should want better than this. But, you know, I, I just want to get this out to you guys. It's in your hands. It's another opinion. You may get several of them. Um, but please put this in the back of your mind. Think about that. Think about that in this game and apply these kind of thoughts to uh, the other games that you play. You know, it, I'm not against just totally banning all games. I mean, they're going to have problems. And if you're able to get, you know, for 10 or 15 bucks and you're able to get many hours of enjoyment out of that game. Even if it's a PvP game, it's supposed to go on forever. But you end up playing the content. And for me, that's a, that's going to be a Conan game if you haven't played Conan. And um, you can try the PvP thing, but for me, it's broken. You lose the thrill, though, because you want that thrill. Um, but you can play the content... You can go through the game, take your time, level up as you need to level, no power leveling, none of that bullshit. Go through the motions, go through the areas, do the dungeons as you can do them. Get your armor, get to that end game, finish up all the bosses, and call it a day for that playthrough. If you've done that and you've gotten 20, 30, 50, 100, 200 hours, I mean, you can get plenty of hours. If you take your time, you can really enjoy these games and definitely get your money's worth is, is basically the point I'm trying to get across. With ARK, when this first came out years ago, man, we had... A ball. We had a group of people. We didn't know cheats. We didn't know none of that shit. And it was just, it's memories that I just can't, I can't forget. I think about them all the tr time. I try and get these old players back together again um, to play together. It just never seems to happen anymore. It's one of those things, it's, it's in the moment. And that's where getting the games new and playing in the beginning is something that could be very important is because you're just not going to get that pure gameplay ever again once it's been out for a while so but uh, only one bad thing besides all the glitching and shit was dino tame times <laughs> dino tame times was ridiculous so that's something that I think is just way, way, way out of whack. I hope that they would make changes to that. Um, that's the main thing. And, and the tech on this game is a total, total another complaint of mine. Uh, I, I'm not for the tech. I like the primitive. I like it to stay more, more, more primitive. I don't think they need to bring in the guns, uh, black powders, the best they could have made. Uh, for for me, but you know, that's a whole nother video 
So anyway, guys, I hope that you guys took the time to check this video out, go through it. I hope it's been able to put some things into your mind, uh, not just for this game, but for others. And um, maybe help you make a decision one way or another, uh, whether it's worth it for you or not. Uh, the other thing, again, if all the other things fall into place, computer, computer specs, you know, all those good things. If you got a group of people that are going to play this game together with you, that's the greatest thing ever. When you can play with uh, a group of like-minded people, you get so much more enjoyment than doing these kind of game plays. Um, solo, in my opinion... Uh, because you have the interaction and the what ifs and the what nots of what other people do, and it makes things really fun. So, um, you know, that's another thing to go ahead and weigh in, which I would consider, but I'm out at this point simply because my computer specs aren't going to match up. So, Eventually, I'm, I'm at the point where I've been looking to build a new computer, but still, if I have to play this alone, the very same game that I already have, I'm not going to get it. If I have a group of five or more people, maybe some of you subscribers eventually, um, that are interested in playing this game or even some of the others that I've played, I'll go back and play those games because playing with a group is, is a ton of fun. It's just a ton of fun. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, this is a little early morning video watching some of the news, all the craziness going on in the Middle East. Um, so we'll see what's, what's fresh and new for today. And uh, we'll make a couple other videos. Uh, hopefully we can post another one today on uh, one of the other games and keep things moving. So y'all, thank you genuinely for watching. Uh, please do subscribe if you haven't. Please maybe get some people on that uh, haven't been watching the video. Send them my way. And I'm serious. Comment. Contact me through comments, whatever. And let's talk about some stuff and things you might want to see or do or do together or or servers you may want to join together or teams you want to make. I mean, whatever, man. We, we should be playing to have fun when we get on. Not that we're tied to the computer like some some people are to PvP where you have to be there when raid hour's on and all this bullshit. I mean, I don't want to play that way. Uh... I'm really not interested in playing that way and that kind of hardcore no life type thing. I, I have family, you know, I do things. I can't be on the computer all the time. I I refuse to be on the computer all the time. Let me rephrase. Um, it's your choice if you're, you want to sit in front of the computer and, and not see your life pass before you outside because there's plenty of beautiful things to do out there. So I guess maybe that might be the last thing I'm going to end on is... Turn off your damn computer and go outside and do some things outside. Learn to hunt, learn to fish, learn to shoot, learn to play horseshoes. I don't care what. Get out there, man. You feel so much different. And uh, if you wonder why this generation has more virgins than ever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, your AI girlfriend, boyfriends ain't going to do it. So, anyway, <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. Take care, and we will see you on the next one. Bye here and out.